All right, so when we take a look at 4, 5, and 6, see 4 right there, that's a square. 5, that's a square with 1 in the middle. And then 6, it's actually a square with 1 in the middle of these two lines right there. So once we get 4, pretty easy to get 5 and 6. All right, so let's move over. So opposite sides add up to 7, so this is my side with 3. So I know 7 minus 3 is 4, so that's going to be, and this side's going to be my 4. So I'm going to draw a sketch. So I'm going to hit sketch. I'm going to click on a face. I'm going to press N for normal. And I'm going to do my four circles. Now again, I could just come over here, draw four circles. But that's not very good. That's not very accurate. Let's not do that. Let's get accurate. We know that they're in a square. So let's start out by drawing a square. We know that that's our center point of our square. So let's make sure our rectangle is set to center point rectangle. All right. Let's click. And then if I came all the way out, that's 16 by 16. I don't want that. Let's come out. Let's see if it's 4 from the edge. That would be 16 minus 4 minus 4. That would be 8. So our square is going to be an 8 by 8. That makes sense, right? So if I have it right here, that's my die. I want 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. This whole thing is 16, which means this is going to be from here to here is going to be 4. From here to here is going to be 8. And from here to here is going to be 4. So 4. 12, 16. Good. All right. Back here. So I know that my shape is going to be an 8 by 8. So I'm just going to click my center point, come out here a little bit, click. I have that highlighted. I'm going to hit 8, enter, 8, enter. Cool. Now, I want to make that a construction line. That's going to be my guidelines. So I want to get back to my arrow tool. Hit my escape on my keyboard. Brings me my arrow back. I'm going to highlight this box right here. And I'm going to turn that into a construction line. And then that should be dotted. OK, perfect. Now let's add a uh, four circles on the corners. Hit my circle tool. Turn off your construction line. Click, move, click, and that should be three. Click, move, click, that should be three. Click, move, click, three. Click, move, click, three. Excellent. Finish my sketch. Extrude those four pips. One, two, three, four. I'm going to remove material. I'm going to remove one millimeter of material and hit go. Check mark. All right, there's my four. Excellent. Now let's go to my five right here. All right. So I want to sketch. Hit my new sketch. What face? This one right here. Press N for normal view. And I want to do that same exact thing because my 5 is just my 4 with a dot in the middle. So I'm going to add a rectangle, a square right in the middle. This is going to be a construction line, a little guide point. Click that one. Click my center point. Come out. I want this to be 8. Enter. 8. Enter. I want some circles. Circle tool. Turn off my construction line. If you ever make a line you want to make it a construction line or not, you can click on it and kind of toggle that one on or off. All right. But I want my circle tool. I want it off. Click my center. Come out. Three. Click my circle. Come out. Three. 
and I have a center point also. All right, and that's my five. Click check. Awesome. I need to extrude those. One, two, three, four, five. And we need to remove material and one millimeter. Excellent. All right, one more side to go, and then we have a die. So our only side left is this one. We need the six. So we're going to do it pretty much the same way. Actually, I'll, I'll do this two ways. I'll show you two different ways to do this. You can use whichever one you want. Sketch. Where do I want to sketch? This one. Normal view. All right, so we can do the same thing we did before. I'll just do it real quick. Rectangle, construction line, come over here, 8 by 8. Circle, turn my construction line off. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Over here, we've got 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. All right. Finish my sketch, extrude, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we want to remove material, one millimeter, enter. Excellent. Ta-da. Uh, I won't show you that second way right now. It involves mirrors and stuff. I'll show you that another time. But here you go. You've got a dice right here. You can... Let's turn off those planes just to make it look prettier. If you want to change the color, you can click this little appearance panel. Let's get rid of that. There we go. So that little appearance panel, right now it's defaulted to this nice pretty blue color. I'm going to double click on that. It's going to give me a bunch of colors. Let's make it red. Red. Or you can click all these things if you want to get real specific with it. Let's just click on red. Excellent. So there's that one. Now, it's made everything red. I want to make my little pips white. So I'm going to hit plus, add face appearance. I'm going to select faces or features. So what I'm actually going to do is over here, I'm going to click my extrusion. So number two, number three. That first one, we're not doing the first one because that made it a cube. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And let's make those white or whatever this color is. There you go. And it'll say you have 42 faces selected. Perfect. So there we have a beautiful die right there.